somehow, in some way, incorporate them into the body of Christ. Because how many knows God don't give people talents just for it to lie dormant? Amen? Right. Now, we all don't have the same talent. And in the body of Christ, for far too long, at least in my generation, and you got to understand, I've grown up in church all my life. So I say this with some experience coming out. For far too long, we've, we've uh, hit the spotlight on God's called you to either be a preacher or a singer. Right. And if you don't know how to get a message, and if you don't know how to carry a tune, I guess you're just going to be warm in a pew for the next 70 years. But I don't believe that that's the case. That's right. I believe God gives talents and abilities of all kinds, and somehow we need to incorporate those into the service. And so I've asked these two young people, and, and they're just going to do what God has placed in their heart. Amen? Because God gave them a talent. And guess what? What I have also seen in my 39 years of living is if the church does not incorporate them, the world will incorporate them. That's right. Them. That's right. Amen. And for far too long because, because different generations come and go. And how many knows in each generation they have their own little specific identity? Amen. And if it doesn't click with what the church has, then we say, well, we'll just leave them sitting on the back pew. Right. And we'll hope that the next generation coming up doesn't have pink hair. Amen? Right. Or doesn't wear skinny jeans. Or doesn't wear jeans down to their thighs showing the drawers or whatever the case may be. Right? But how many know that I just believe that God wants us to use them? Yes. And so I, I told these two young people a little bit of what I was going to be speaking on and what the theme of the service is. And they've come up with some things and I'm going to just have them come up. One is Megan. Come up here, Megan. And she's an artist. She's going to college for art to street. Go ahead and just turn this around. We're going to leave these sitting up somewhere in the back. And oh, she's, she's awesome. depicted the Valley of Dry Bones. Yes, amen. But I like this part right here. That when they see dry bones, yes. Yes. God says, amen. you will begin to look at what I'm looking at. You won't see dry, dusty bones. Right. But you'll see something different. And that's what we are wanting to proclaim this year is don't see the things that the world wants you to see That's right. or what what it is, maybe even the truth of the situation how many know sometimes the truth of the situation isn't god's reality it may be the truth of that situation but god can change the reality if we will but hear his voice amen. and proclaim what he is saying amen Come this on. next person is jesse he's coming he's just new Come on, Jesse. he's new to a, a member of our church I know he's a little heel on the edge with the tail and the hat. Look past that. Because you're about to hear some pro proclamation in poetry form. Amen. That goes right along with the Word of God. And amen. That's all I'm concerned about is what is being said. Does it line up with the Word of God? That's amen. right. Amen. Tim could come in here bald next week. And as long as he speaks the Word of God, that's all I care about. Amen. amen. Jen could come in here next week with green and pink hair. I know she won't, but if she did, as long as she said, thus saith the Lord, and it really lined up with the Bible. Amen? Amen. Is everybody okay with that right here? Yes. Right. Come on. Yes. So rejoice in the Lord, our God, for his army of locusts have gone. The fields will once again be filled with yes. wine Praise and God. overflow yes. new wine and yes. oil. Yes. Do not despair when you look at this world, for the Lord our God shall breathe life into these dry bones. Yes. Amen. Amen. 